fairly good control of the of the batters. Now uh, do that pull for the pitch. I apologize for Kansas Wesley and will be number 13, Trey Short, Trent Short. He is a senior left-handed pitcher that comes from Imperial, Missouri. All right, buddy, go to work. As we get ready to start the bottom of the first inning, first up will be Jonah Cox. He comes into the game averaging or with a batting average of 414. Very impressive. First pitch on the way. Yeah. And right, right to the second baseman. That pitch and that throw will go over his. Oh, my gosh. start here for Kansas Wesleyan. He said the, they're, they got some bad fielders. <laughs> Pick them off. Oh boy, get him yourself. That kid's terrible. That second baseman is just terrible. That should have been a double play out of the inning. No, the shortstop had to come off the base because he flipped it. He booted it, and then he flipped it bad. No. The kid, the batter beat the throw to first. And they never, they never tagged second base with the ball. Come on, chat. He's making good pitches. 
Got to make plays. I'm getting ground balls. Has a little word with his pitcher, but now we're ready to go. First pitch to Cameron. First pitch on the way. Man, that will hit him. It appears he was worried about searing it that first and threw off his pitch and then hits Cameron right in the back. So now base is loaded, one away. As Andrew Virgin will... My, my bad. Noah Settle down, buddy. So, so far in the first inning, that's uh, two players hit. By train short. First pitch to Argenta will be fouled off. Second pitch on the way. Foul There's the opposite direction. So we have an 0-2 an count here. One out, bases loaded. First, or second pitch, or that pitch will be high for ball one. Two Camden. So that puts the count at one and two. Pitch on the way. On the outside. And that'll be ball, ball two. Evens account two and two of keys. Base is loaded one away here in the bottom of the first. Pitch on the way. That pitch just a little high and that will result in a full count. Yeah, three, uh, three, two with one out. Uh, who knows how the batter is going to want to play this. Pitch is on the way. And that pitch, that pitch will be high, ball four, and he will walk in the first run of the game for the Grizzlies. Next that bad, number six, Sam Siegel. Yeah, but you can't do that. He had him 0-2. Throw him something that he was following stuff off. Throw him something to his swing at. Oklahoma College, Enid. Hitting three home runs there. And the first pitch to him will be low and outside, ball one. Short really just needs to get some strikes thrown because he's walked in the first run, has hit a couple batters, and still has the bases loaded with only one away here. Second pitch will be a foul. So that puts the count at one and one. Uh, we were just mentioned the, mentioning this, but Siegel had three home runs la uh, last week in the game against Oklahoma College, e Northern Oklahoma College, Enid. So definitely a uh, man's of fear in the, in the batter's box because he is... He has his rhythm. Exactly right. That pitch is fouled against the backstop. One and two now to count. One away here. Bases loaded. Bottom of the first. That pitch is high. Ball two. That puts the count at two and two. Come on, buddy. Throw it. Siegel averaging 404 coming into the game with... Uh, six home runs and 22 RBIs. Pitch on the way. That one hits right at the second baseman. Oh, my God. Andy that kid is horrible. The baseman's head trying to get the force out, but none of the Grizzlies will advance, and there'll be two away here in the bottom of the first. That will bring up the catcher, catcher Francisco Guevara. The second baseman again. He got the out. It was a little, little bloop line drive. So he caught it in the air, but then they could have maybe caught the runner off first, and he threw it over to the dugout. 
Luckily, it stayed on the field, and somehow the runner on third didn't score. No, they all stayed. Trent was running over there, so I don't know if he anticipated that it was he, first pitch on the way. Because he got the ball. Will be high. Ball one. Second pitch on the way. Grounded right to the third baseman. There we go. And he will get Why don't you just tag third? I mean, good play, but... Uh, more damage being done. Uh, blind drive. So, pitchers definitely... Pitcher does not have a strike. That is exactly right. see how he comes back from that first inning in which he struggled. Now this will be the 8, 9, and 1 batters for the Grizzlies, so that'll be Camden Jurgent and will be up first. First pitch on the way. Will be low and gets away from the catcher. That'll be ball one. That ball had some heat on it. Second pitch on the way. Thought about swinging double hold up as that pitch goes low for ball two. The third pitch is again. Ooh. Look, catches the low, the outside corner for strike one, two and one now the count. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss, strike two. Camden comes into the game batting right at 200. One home run, six RBIs. Pitch on the way. That pitch. Hit low. high to, high to right field. And he will make a play. That pitch kind of, or that ball kind of sailed up against the warning track. But will be out number one there for the Grizzlies. That'll bring up number four, Tanner Leslie. Tanner having a good year at the plate, at averaging 364. First pitch. He will try to bump one right along the first base line, and he will beat out the throw. Oh, good try, Trent. And we'll be safe there <laughs> on that front. Do you see that? Very good. Hard running there from Tanner Leslie. Flipped it with his glove. Very, very unhappy with allowing a bunt right there. Trent Short definitely thought he got the ball there in time, but the umpire says safe, and that'll bring up back to the top of the lineup, Jonah Cox. And Trent Short tries to pick him off, and it sails over the first baseman's head, and he will reach second, standing up. So now a runner in scoring position for Jonah Cox, who's already one for one on an error there in the first inning. No, he's 0 for 1, reaching on an error. Not 1 for 1. There hasn't been a hit yet. Maybe that bunt counts as a single, and that's it. Pitch to Cox now. Swung on and fouled up against the backdrop, backstop for strike 1. One out here in the bottom of the second inning. Runner on second base. Owen won the count to Cox. The second pitch swung on and will be fouled over the right side of the ballpark, and that'll be strike two. 
just a little, little late there on the swing. But had fairly good contact. Going to the count. Pitch on the way. Another swing and another foul ball Good off the backstop. They'll keep the count at 0 and 2. Going to the count. Pitch on the way. That one will get away from the catcher as it goes low, but. Leslie will stay at second base. One and two now to count. <clears throat> Counts one, two. Pitch on the way. Another foul ball. High, but he will foul it. And one of the Wesleyan players inside the dugout grabs that pitch. An impressive grab there. One and two, the count. Two Cox, runner on second, one out here at the bottom of the second. Pitch on the way. That will hit the gap between first and second. Leslie will be waved home, and that ball gets away from the right fielder. Oh, Cox will hold up at first, and... That'll be an RBI single. Why do they take gloves with them out there? That'll push the lead now to 2 nothing. Grizzlies out in front. That'll I don't know why these guys take gloves out to the field. Now with Cox on first. And... Trent Short, wary of Cox as he got away with stealing one there in the first inning, trying to make sure that doesn't happen again, and we'll try to pick him up, but he's unsuccessful. Pitch on the way. Pitch was high and inside, ball one. The count to Zimmer. Cox will take off and will get to second safely. Short tried to pick him off, goes to the first baseman, and the ball does not get to second in time. Cox will reach second now. Runner in scoring position for Zimmer. 1-0 and oh the count. The last time Cox reached second, he was picked off. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Pitch on the way. Will be a strike this time. One and one to count. Pitch on the way. That ball is swung on, driven well in the left field, but he will get underneath of it. And a good throw. Good throw there from the left fielder to keep Cox from taking third. He was tagged up. But Good job, there. Trent. That'll bring up number 25, Jackson Searing, for the Grizzlies. Jackson, a sophomore from Derby, Kansas. Short backs off the mound now as he was trying to keep Cox there at second. And another pickoff attempt is unsuccessful. He's got two outs. Just get the batter. I don't know if he's choosing that or they're calling that, but pitch on the way. Just throw pitches. Right to third. And 
he will make good play. First in time for the Third baseman got a good arm. So Grizzlies improved. He's been having some trouble with control so far today. Hopefully he can begin to lock it down for West Kansas Wesleyan. Go, Trent. <laughs> He's giving you the paw bump. Next up for the Grizzlies will be batting out of the fourth hole, number seven, Josh Cameron. Josh, of course, having a very, very good year behind the plate with 20 home runs, 56 RBIs, and still batting 429. <laughs> Their basement is. He's got a good arm. Where we're sitting, Tucker, that one looked a bit outside, but uh, that's why the umpire the has, has a plate. much closer view, so we'll have to trust his judgment. Pitch on the way. Will be a foul, so a quick 0 2 count. Shouldn't need to. No, no, no. Another foul. Say, he doesn't need to. He was just out not too long ago. He doesn't need to go out. He's oh, and two, so just out. Count here at the bottom of the third inning. And Good pitch. Will be <laughs> a boy. Count number one. Short. D Rake. One away here. That'll bring up uh, Noah Argenta, the third baseman. First pitch. The outside, ball one. Second pitch will be a foul ball. Two to two, our score here at the bottom of the third inning. That's one out. Is supposed to be really good. The score. Mm -hmm. Grizzlies are up to bat, and that pitch will be low. Two and one now. The count to Noah Argenta. Pitch swung on will be a foul ball. Two and two now. The count. Noah comes into the game batting 357 with 34 RBIs. Pitch on the way, another foul ball. This that bat's lasting a while. It is, and in, in a ton of foul balls here throughout the first few innings going over to that right side wall. Pitch on the way. Will, will be ball. Will be high. Three and two now the count. Pitch. That one looked yeah. inside and so did and Argenta disagreed, but that'll be a standing strikeout. So back to back strikeouts for Trent Short and Kansas Wesleyan. They're now two away here in the bottom of the third. This will bring up uh, number six, Sam Siegel.
first hit. That pitch is fouled and goes directly over our heads. Let's hope it doesn't hit anybody's car in the parking lot. Oh, and one the count. That pitch is swung on and a good play there by the first yeah, baseman buddy. for the Coyotes. Yep. It says spam, so when it's coming to me. Sounds way off again. <laughs> Dookie. Go into the bottom of the fourth inning. We will have the seven, eight, nine batters as for the lineup for the Grizzlies. Right. First up, get after him, T. The catcher. is in there. Mm -hmm. Catch the lower inside That's corner. Funny. That'll be strike one. <laughs> one and one now to count. Mm -hmm. Starting to lock in with his breaking pitches. Off speed ones. Cutters. That pitch popped up. Mm -hmm. Shallow left field. And the shortstop will come over to make the play and that'll be out number Good one. Good job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> For the Grizzlies. They're off the screen. <laughs> we, we don't know. Next up to bat number nine, Camden Jurgensen. Yep. One way here in the bottom of well, the fourth, well tied up, up that double. Piece. But you know, and the first pitch to Camden been will be high. Ball one. Getting one guys in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this his last game? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Second pitch. Most teams, yeah, this would be it. Ball inside, playoffs. two and zero. The count. Good, good pitch. Mm -hmm. A little inside, maybe. Yeah, and he's swung on, grounded right to the shortstop, and he'll make the play, and that'll be out number two for the Grizzlies. Mm. <laughs> Next up will be number four, Tanner Leslie. Tanner's a freshman from Hayesville, Kansas. First pitch. Swung on, driven well in the left field. But will the left fielder will make the catch at the tr yep. morning track. Yeah, I got excited for number nothing. three, and that'll end High the fly ball. Two to two the <laughs> so, pitching struggled early, but as certainly in fielding struggled early, buddy. <laughs> as of recent for Kansas Wesley, he struggled a little. <laughs> it's all so everybody settled down. This will be his fifth inning for the Coyotes. Only given up two runs so far. Scores all tied up two and two as we move into the bottom of our bottom of the fifth.
He's back out there. We are now back to the top of the lineup for the Grizzlies. As Cox will be the batter. Go, Trent. First pitch. Trent's going for a bunt, but pulls away as he realizes it's going to be a ball. 1-0 and oh now, the count. Second pitch is on his way and is on again. Low ball two. Pitch. Swung on. Will be a foul ball up against the Grizzlies dugout. Two and one now the count. Bottom of the fifth inning. Two and one the count. Pitch is high. Three one. Pitch. That one is high. Once again, ball four. And Cox will get on base. And that'll bring up Bryce Zimmer. First pitch, outside, ball one. Come on, buddy. Run on first, nobody out. Bryce Zimmer up to bat. And Short will try the pickoff play again off Cox. Got him early there in the first inning, but unable to catch <clears> him that time. Cox will take off the throw. Is in time, but not accurate, and Cox will get there safe. So another stolen base for Cox here in, in this game. 2-0 now the count. Pitch. That pitch is in there for strike one. Two and one now the count. Walked the leadoff batter and he stole a second again. Mm -hmm. And went two, it's two and one on this kid. Three, 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 three now. Oh, that was high. I mean, hard to tell. Hard to tell from this angle. It was a curveball. The batter gave up early on it. I don't know if the ump did too. It looked like it dropped down. Right. Or hit right at the second baseman. He will make the play, and Cox will advance to third. So you got a runner on third with one out here. Good play. The bottom of the fifth. Tie ball game, two to two. That'll bring up number 25, Jackson Searing. <laughs> First pitch here. Will be a ball. So the count starts at 1 0. Just a nickel inside there on the pitch from short. Second pitch. Swing on gets just past the first baseman, and that'll be an RBI single there for Searing, as the Grizzlies will regain the lead now, 3-2. to two. And with one out here in the bottom of the fifth and the runner on first, Josh Cameron will come up to bat. First pitch will be outside, ball one. This lag on the video is annoying. Mm -hmm. 
Because you're here and then hit them all. Where is it? First pit, or the second pitch. Trying to go back. Big swing and a miss. And we'll even the count now, one and one apiece. Searing was leading off too much for his comfort. Searing does have 16 stolen bases on the year. Catch and tag. <laughs> Pitch. Every time he's thrown it. Hit right to center field. <laughs> and he dropped it. And Searing thought he would make the catch and almost headed back to first, but was able to reach second in time. Dropped it. I dropped the phone. Yeah, the center fielder had it in his glove for a second, but dropped it. And saves it out here for the Grizzlies. And it does appear that short will be done as the pitcher for the Coyotes. That's ridiculous. I mean, not ridiculous to take him out. I mean, mm -hmm. probably a certain number of pitches yeah, or innings or whatever. But... Change. This will bring up... Great job, buddy. Number 28. One gave up. Three Cody hits, one was He is a senior right-handed pitcher from Littleton, Colorado. Great work, T. Mm -hmm. 